Hey guys, Riley Ringle here with Team Ringle over at Keller Williams, giving you a little bit of information about the tax sale that's coming up. I got this information last week. I went through the list of properties and made a list of all of the property addresses that actually have residences on them. A lot of these properties that have unpaid taxes are just empty lots. So I made a new list that outlines the property address, the county tax value, and the delinquent taxes per the property. So I'm here to tell you a little bit more about that tax auction and what to watch out for if you're going to buy a property at this auction. But as far as the properties that are for sale, they're all gonna be sold as is. And it's up to you to do the research on these properties. As far as zoning, building restrictions, easements, and to find out if there's any additional liens on the property or code compliance issues. All of that's gonna be your responsibility to research and find out before you take possession and purchase a property from the county tax office. Now you may think it's probably pretty easy. Where the tricky part comes in, is when do you actually get possession of the property? So after the auction is finalized, it could take up to 90 days to receive the deed for the property. And it could take longer if there's any federal tax liens on the property. So until the sale is confirmed by the county, you actually aren't the owner of the property and you don't have any right to collect rent or require the owner to leave the premises. So, and you've heard me talk about redemption rights as well. Uh, through other foreclosures. But the redemption rights to the tax sale actually end the day prior to the sale. So as far as the current owner coming back and redeeming the property after you purchase it, that can't happen. But what can happen is a legal challenge made by the owner of the property. If they hire an attorney to question the validity of the auction or the sale of their property, the property could revert back to the original owner. And that window for when they can actually question that sale is about 12 months. So Shawnee County states in their paperwork that they would recommend no improvements be made to the property until 12 months after the sale. So that's something to keep in mind. So let's say you buy a, pr a property from this tax sale. One, the county doesn't give you any keys. So you're gonna have to go about gaining access to the property on your own. Now, if the property is occupied, you can't just disturb the peace, get keys and kick these people out. You have to go through the legal eviction process in order to take possession of the property. What you can do, as soon as the sale is confirmed, you can do the eviction process and you can get the tenants out of the property. Mind you, that 12 month period. So if the sale's confirmed, you can go ahead and get the people that are living there out of the property. But if they question the validity of the sale and they take this up in court, they could get the property back. So don't spend too much time and money on these properties before that 12 month period is over. To piggyback on that 12 month period, you actually won't be able to get title insurance on the property until that 12 months is over. So the tax sale may not be where you wanna buy your very first rental property. Yes, it may sound enticing that you can get a property for three, five, or $2,000, but it's a process. And it's not a process for the faint of heart. So if you're looking to buy a property at the tax foreclosure, make sure you talk to somebody that's done it before or talk to a real estate expert, talk to a title company, talk to a real estate attorney to see how you can get this done with the least amount of heading. If you're looking for more information on the tax sale, feel free to reach out to me at 785-817-9724. I'd be happy to share my information with you. I, I did make a, a cheat sheet for the tax sale and the properties that are gonna be offered. And I can also send you all of the Shawnee County documents that have been sent to me that outline the process a little bit more. That's all I've got for you today, guys. Thanks, have a great day.